Last week, we were on the scene at the 2014 Rally for Kids with Cancer. This year's rally included celebrity navigators Kim Coates, Billy Baldwin, Morris Chestnut, and more. Let's take a look. So tell us your involvement with Rally for Kids. This is my first um, invitation to come in and, and help, and I'm thrilled. You know, we're very fortunate in what we do, and anytime you get the opportunity to actually help someone else, um, especially children, it's it's I jumped at it. Yeah, this is my first time coming out. Um, you know, I, I, I've heard a lot about the hospital sick kids here in Canada, and I'm always uh, want to do my part in contributing back to society and being able to be here and and bring some type of attention and help raise money for children with cancer. You know, it was a no-brainer for me. Oh, I've been involved with Rally for Kids now for about three years. I'm a two-time champion. I plan on being a three-time champion, um, and it's such an amazing event. It's just, it's a lot of fun, and it's all for a good cause, and I can't think of a better way to spend my weekend than running around Toronto on a scavenger hunt and winning. Here we are having a party. Sometimes we do a pole tournament, sometimes we do a ping pong tournament, sometimes we do uh, the, the, the scavenger hunt and the, and the, and the uh, car rally. And to get a bunch of celebrities who take their currency, which is their fame, to, uh, you know, to sort of redirect that into raising awareness and raising funds to help find a cure for cancer. I think it's it's great. Doing a rally, I guess, since 2009, when uh, I was all the way down to Miami doing something with it. Uh, I come in early. I do radio here in town. I'm here every time. A lot of different actors I see from Los Angeles, they get to come out. The first time they get to experience, and it's a great way of seeing the city. The Sick Kids Hospital, as we all know. Uh, both my kids were born here in Toronto. We know how important that, that hospital is for children's development and, and all, the, um, all the incredible research that they do there and, and helping of kids um, have a better, more fulfilling life. So we're raising money for them. We'll raise over a million dollars again this weekend. And I'm just lucky enough to escape my asylum in LA yeah. off a motorcycle right here. Coming back home for me, it means a lot. Here we are in Jaden Schill, my little BFF Jaden Schill. <laughs> she, uh, she's had cancer since she was five years old. She's uh, truly uh, an inspiration for me. She's my hero. This is my second year doing it, and uh, I love this organization so much, and the Sick Kids Hospital is an amazing place, and I will do anything they ask me to do. So it's one of those things where I realized if my kid was sick, I would want people to care. I would want people to help out. I would want people to support. So I thought, you got you to put your money where your mouth is, so I, I try and show up whenever it's offered. Now, it's, it's never been anything as fun as this. This is going to be ridiculous. This is going to be off the chain. I'm a firm believer in faith. I'm a firm believer in the man above and our creator that, you know, if you put everything and you give him your all, he will lead you to, he will lead you to victory. I looked at cancer and I looked at being paralyzed because I was paralyzed for a time as just another opponent. And that's what we got to view life and all our hardships is just as an opponent. And we got to have our hand raised in victory at the end of the day. And three weeks ago, that's what I was able to do. I was able to become the first cancer survivor to ever become a world champion, making history and doing it and representing for all the survivors all over the world. That's it for this episode of On the Scene Network. I'm Daria Roy. Thanks for watching.